Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to easily add captions to any of your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. So right here I have a video of mine and I'm going to add some captions. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. Before we get into the rest of the video, this video is sponsored by Envato Elements. Envato Elements is personally my favorite marketplace for all things templates. So if you're looking for Photoshop templates, Illustrator templates, Premiere Pro, um, intro templates, maybe an outro template for your YouTube videos, you can find those over at Envato Elements. And all you have to do is sign up for a monthly subscription and you get unlimited downloads and access to hundreds of thousands of templates on their marketplace. I've been using them for a while and I would definitely recommend them. So first things first, you want to actually enable uh, the captions tab so if you go to window workspaces over here you should be able to see captions if you do have the newest update and in the new update you'll also notice that there's a text tab right here so if you actually select the video you want to transcribe you can easily press transcribe sequence and basically what it does is it uses artificial intelligence and sort of creates a rough outline of what you're saying a lot of times it's actually pretty accurate so if you've ever been on like Instagram or TikTok where they auto-generate captions, it does something very similar, which speeds up the process a lot. You can also import your own captions if you uh, have formatted it for this type of thing, or you just can create a new caption track, which will allow you to do this manually. Uh, what I've noticed is that it is much faster if you transcribe the sequence and then just edit the mistakes later. So I'm gonna do that right now. So right here, there are some of the settings. So first, if you have multiple um, audio layers, you want to choose which one you want to transcribe. Um, you probably don't want to transcribe like a music or background music layer. So you would uh, sort of specify. In this case, I only have one audio layer, so it doesn't really matter. Or you can transcribe a mix of both. If you do care about transcribing every single piece of audio, um, you can also select the language. This makes it easier on their uh, artificial intelligence, I would assume. And then you can transcribe it in an out point. So if you were to press like I on your keyboard at a certain point and then O on your keyboard, it will only uh, transcribe in between these two points. And then you can also opt it to recognizing when different speakers are talking. So basically the only difference is when you transcribe the sequence and the captions are on screen, it will just say the name of the person and it'll say the name of another person if there are multiple people talking. So you've probably seen these on TV shows where a certain character is talking and it says their name um, at the beginning of that caption. So I'm not gonna select any of these. I'm gonna press transcribe right here. And basically it will use artificial intelligence um, to transcribe this. So you can see creating auto transcription. And typically it doesn't actually take that long. So right here, we only have like 15 seconds of footage anyway. If you just create captions, it'll actually split it automatically. So if I press create caption, um, I can choose a preset. Right now, I'm just going to choose the default one. And you can also choose uh, how many lines the text appears on. If you are transcribing more of like a conversational thing, like a podcast, I would recommend uh, maybe using double uh, because there's going to be more text. And then you can choose the maximum length in characters. I wouldn't worry too much about this if you are doing this for like a horizontal video. If you are, however, transcribing like a vertical video and you're worried that there's maybe too many characters on a line, you might want to lower this. Uh, minimum duration in seconds to me three seconds seems fine and then you can also choose the gap between captions and typically i would just leave it at zero because they're usually uh it's just gonna have captions on the screen at all times if you do choose to use captions but you also have the option to just leave some frames in between so we're gonna press create right here and then basically it'll split it up into sections like i said before and then you have these same options of splitting the caption at a certain point. So if there's like a like a longer segment like this where it lasts like maybe like five seconds, I can split the middle of it into 2.5 seconds and another 2.5 seconds. So if you go through here, you want to actually just go double click on it to edit it. So first of all, I never say, hey, guy, Steven here. I would say, hey, guys. So that's just one thing I'll notice. So I'll play this through. Hey, guys, Steven here back with another video. Oh, and today I'm going to show you this very unique video transition that you can use in Adobe Premiere Pro. It really creates this really cool morph. It creates this really cool morphing effect. I recently saw this on a TikTok. So right here, TikTok is not correct. So some phrases or brands you might mention, they might not get it right. Uh, I think this is pretty like simplified auto transcribing at the moment but it's definitely going to get better as more people create captions video so i thought i'd show you guys how to recreate it i'd say 90 percent of that was correct hey guys steven here back with another video and today i'm going to 
And so yeah, that's about it for the actual uh, creation of the captions. You can also merge two captions. So if you maybe have something where it's like only three words right here, I can merge it with the other one uh, by highlighting them and then pressing merge. Uh, let's just say this caption is too long. I can split it. So you just wanna move this uh, playhead where you wanna cut it and then press split. And then one question you may be asking yourself is how the hell do you edit um, the style of it? So it's actually really simple. You wanna highlight all of the captions right here. So you can just highlight it with your mouse. And then you want to go to essential graphics. If you don't see essential graphics, it should be under window essential graphics. And then here you can adjust everything. So typically this is how I like it. Um, I'll go to background. I'll first make the background black and increase the opacity increase this like border so it's a little bit wider and now we have like this uh more solid captioning you can also uh, highlight everything and italicize it uh, change the color change the stroke uh, but this way you're able to edit all the text at the same time and make it the same you want to make sure it's consistent and you'll also notice in this new update they have this new uh, track where it's just subtitle so what i actually figured out is you can make uh, multiple tracks with subtitles and so let's just say i have two uh different subtitles i don't know why i would have two but let's just say i have two versions right maybe it has a different style of text for example so maybe this one is italicized um you can hide one and show the other so if you choose to unhide one, the other one will automatically get hidden. So this also speeds up the process. If you're testing with a different styles, you can also just easily view them and compare them. And you can also move them around. Uh, let's just say right here, they left a gap in the beginning. Maybe I don't want that gap. I can stretch it out. I can do this manually. If I notice like if the timing's a bit off, I can manually move it. And yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Check out my Discord channel in the description, as well as pinned comment. My name is Steven, and I'll see you in the next one.